Oath of Office for Border Guards. We as Border Management Authority Border Guards swear to uphold the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa as the supreme law of the country. That we will discharge the border law enforcement functions with integrity, honesty, and to the best of our ability in order to protect the sovereignty of the Republic of South Africa, as well as the safety of her people and resources. We further swear to serve with vigilance and excellence, and we will always have the courage to challenge any behavior that is ethically out of character and hold ourselves and fellow border guards accountable for our actions. We take this oath freely and with no reservations. So help us God. Thank you very much, uh, Porta Card Tabete. The oath of office is a very important symbol and commitment by the border guards to do their work in an ethical manner. I will then swiftly move to the next item on the agenda, which is for us to have the welcoming remarks in the province of Limpompo by MEC Sokwati, who is also the acting premier in the province. Over to you, acting premier, MEC. Right, stand at ease. Thank you, Prom Director and Deputy Minister Tatin Zuza, His Excellency, the President of South Africa, Matamela Sal Ramaphosa, the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Arun Mutwaledi, and other ministers accompanying the President, the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, my colleagues in the Limpopo Executive Council, Executive Mayor of Vembe District Municipality, Botuelani Nengoda, Commissioner of the Border Management Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the momentous occasion as we gather here in Musina to witness the launch of the Border Management Authority by the President of South Africa. It's also an honor to have you all here today. I would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed President, His Excellency President Ramaphosa, and express our gratitude for gracing us with your presence. Your commitment to development and security of our nation is truly commendable and we are honored to have you here to inaugurate this significant milestone. Today also marks a different moment for our province and our nation as we establish the Border Management Authority. This authority will definitely play a pivotal role in ensuring the effective management and security of our borders, safeguarding our nation's interests and facilitating legitimate trade and travel. Musina being a strategic location on our, in our country's borders hold immense importance in the context of border management. It serves as a gateway connecting South Africa to our neighboring countries, fostering economic growth and promoting regional integration. The establishment of the Border Management Authority in Musina will enhance our capacity to manage and regulate the movement of goods, people, and services across the borders. The victims of crime survey released in August by Statistician General Rasenga Maluleka found Limpopo residents felt that the safest working felt the safest in working alone during the day and at night. Today's event will certainly add on to the level of confidence that our residents have already shown. Uh, previously. The Border Management Authority will not only strengthen our national security, but also contribute to the growth and development of our province. 
It will create opportunities for trade, investment and job creation, benefiting both our local communities and the broader community. Mr. President, as a province, we have identified Musina as the center for economic development. We have here Musina, Makado Special Economic Zone, that will be the center of development in this area. The security provided by the border management will add further to the potential growth in this area and we will therefore welcome the launch today. As we embark on this new chapter, I urge all stakeholders to work together in a spirit of collaboration and cooperation. Let us harness the potential of this authority to build bridges, foster regional partnerships, and promote peace and stability within our borders. Once again, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our president for his unwavering commitment to the progress of our nation. Your, pre your presence here, Your Excellency, Mr. President, is a testament to your dedication to the well-being of our people. Thank you, and may this launch be the beginning of a successful journey for the Border Management Authority. I thank you. Allah, Allah, Mr. President, Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah, our President Ramaphosa, Allah, Allah. Hey, tell Mr. President, hey, tell. Yeah. No, thank you very much, uh, Acting Premier, for those warm welcoming words to the province. Indeed, we feel warm. As you can see, it's 35 degrees now. So we feel very warm, and uh, your words are adding there. Uh, indeed, you are correct. We do have a responsibility to balance our economic interests and our economic development interests together with the security of this particular country. I will therefore wish to now call upon a medical doctor by profession, a statesman, a patriot, the former MEC here in Limpombo, the former Minister of Health in the Republic of South Africa, and the current Minister of Home Affairs in South Africa, Minister Dr. Aaron Mutualeti. The floor is yours, Minister. Program Director and my colleague, Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, Ren Chabulun Zuza, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ram Matamela Ramaphosa, Cabinet Ministers who are members of the Interministerial Consultative Committee on Border Management Authority, Minister Togo Didiza, Minister Kumbuso Ntabeni, Deputy Minister of Police, Rekasil Matale, Deputy Minister of Health, Resbong Iseni Lomo, and of course, the Program Director, who is the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, Ren Zuza, the Acting Premier of Limpopo, Resia Baroskwati, and members of your executive council, executive mayors of Vembe and Kune districts, mayors of Musina and Tulamela, council of the district and local municipalities, and tribal authorities. The chairperson and members of the portfolio committee of Home Affairs, chairperson Mr. Musa Chabani, the commissioner of the Border Management Authority, Dr. Nakambe Mashia Pato, Deputy Commissioner for Corporate Services in the Border Management Authority, Major in Tupana, and Deputy Commissioner for Operations in the Border Management Authority, Mayor General Chilembe, representative for various organs of state, members of the BMA and Border Guards, 
and members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, here we are. The day we've been promised has arrived. And we are grateful, Mr. President, that within your busy schedule, you find it important and necessary to come and honor this occasion. The main purpose of today is for Mr. President, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, to launch the Border Management Authority of South Africa as the third national armed law enforcement authority after the army and the police. Standing here before us are the country's key ambassadors who stand as the first officials that tourists and all visitors to South Africa meet when they arrive at our shores. In this launch, Mr. President, we have got a group of young border guards who have, like the first cohort introduced in July last year, undergone rigorous selection process that includes interviews, physical assessment, etc. Today, they start the journey as the border guards for deployment in any of the 72 ports of access to the country, be it land, air, or sea. Just to give you an idea, Mr. President, among the border guards who are standing in front of you here today is Miss Andy Lemteta, the flag bearer for the maritime border guards. She is from Bombela in Pumalanga and has previously worked in the South African Navy. The maritime border guards, Mr. President, are new. They are wearing blue uniforms. And there are 50 of them who have just been trained. We also have Ntogos and Changase from Mpangeni in KwaZulu Natal, who says in her own words, it is all about securing our border for development. She also worked in the South African Navy. We also have 23 year old Tamaras Serate from Zibidiela in Limpopo who completed a diploma in policy management last year. He is well vested in various tactical law enforcement operations and is ready to implement various border laws in the border law enforcement area. This is just a sample of the type of people we want to perform this job. So it's an example of the skill set that has been attracted to the Border Management Authority. Additional to the conventional law enforcement team, Mr. President, the authority does have officers of various skill sets ranging from immigration experts. From the 1st of April this year, all the immigration practitioners at our borders were transferred from the Department of Home Affairs to the Border Management Authority. We also have environmental biosecurity experts. All these experts from the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries, who specialize in fauna and flora, has from the 1st of April been transferred to the Border Management Authority. We also have agricultural biosecurity experts. And again, Mr. President, from the 1st of April this year, all the experts in agriculture who decides what comes in and leaves the country in that field, 
they have been transferred to the Border Management Authority. And lastly, Mr. President, all the Port Health officials, many people, Mr. President, started knowing that there are health officials at our borders during COVID when people were demanding certificates or vaccination or, or to see whether you have tested, you are positive or negative. Those are Port Health officials. They've been doing this work even during the time of Ebola and other diseases. From the 1st of April, they too have been transferred to the Border Management Authority. So we are thankful for all of them who have decided to join us as we incrementally implement the Border Management Authority. Only in November 2021, we started the process of establishing this Border Management Authority with the appointment of the Commissioner and the two Deputy Commissioners, Mr. President, who you are going to rank in a short while today. During that period, the Border Management Authority was incubated in the Department of Home Affairs as a branch. But as I said from the 1st of April, they are now a standalone 3 a entity of the state under the Border Management Authority. We are now well on the path towards the full realization of an integrated border management platform with a single command and control across our ports of entry and border law enforcement. Mr. President, before we establish the Border Management Authority, all these different groups I mentioned today, including the Army, of course, which I didn't mention, including SARS, which I didn't mention, all of them between them, they had to apply 58 acts of parliament at the borders. And it's one of the reasons why it was so difficult to control our borders. Now, under the BMA, they've got one command structure. The media once asked me, and I thought they were going to ask me for their benefit. I want to explain this, the issues of policy. When we transfer people from agriculture, environment, health, and immigration from home affairs, that does not mean, Mr. President, that the Border Management Authority then takes over the job of agriculture or health or environment. What it means is those departments will remain enacting policies. And all that the people who have been transferred to do is to implement those policies on the ground. As to what type of disease is allowed in South Africa or not, we can't determine that in the BMA. We don't have that skill. We will hear the Department of Health. They will say, we don't allow anybody with cholera. We don't allow anybody who's not vaccinated. We don't allow anybody who comes here with COVID. All that the Port Health authorities do is to implement that. Same as agriculture, the Minister of Agriculture will still make all the policies and tell us that this one is food and mouth, it's not allowed. Ours is to do. So we are implementers in the Border Management Authority. Mr. President, I'm indebted to the members of the Interministerial Consultative Committee on the Border Management who have diligently overseen the work of implementing the BMA. There is a group of 10 ministers who have formed this interministerial committee. Now, as you know, Mr. President, all the interministerial committees are appointed by yourself. This is the only interministerial committee you did not appoint, Mr. President, because it is appointed by an act of parliament. A law passed by parliament directly tells us who must be the minister in that interministerial committee. So it is the minister of home affairs who is required to chair that committee by law. It is the minister of 
defense. It is the Minister of Police. It is the Minister of State Security. It is the Minister of Finance, without whom I've learned that nothing happens, whether you like it or not. So you have got to, to, to kneel in front of him if you want things to happen. And I do that quite often, Mr. President. It is the Minister of Trade, Industry and Competition. It is the Minister of Agriculture, as I've already said, Land Affairs and Rural Development. It is the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Forestry and Fishery. It is the Minister of Health. And it is the Minister of Transport. They are required by law to meet four times a year, statutorily, to determine the work of mass, what must happen at the borders. But we also call them if the situation demands. That is the Interministerial Committee, Mr. President, a unique one for South Africa. Mr. President, Commissioner Mashia Bato, and Deputy Commissioner Chilembe, and Deputy Commissioner Tupani, are aware of the task that awaits them. And so, Mr. President, we give them over to you to give them the marching orders as the Commander-in-Chief. Thank you very much.